Good morning, my friends. So, my team is ready to start to work and to continue on the tailcon. For today's the plans are, uh, well, yeah, just basically to finish um, drilling the match, drilling the tail cone, hopefully, to finish with all the parts which needs to be cut out of the raw material. And, uh, well, yeah, hopefully that's gonna be it because the next step after that will be to disassemble all that tail cone and to continue on uh, uh, priming, actually, the um, dimpling, uh, preparation of the old holes, then after that the priming and only after that we'll come to riveting. So for now we have to finish a tail cone basically, we have to match drill all remaining holes, we have to drill additional holes in the longerons there, so we still have some work to do. So let's, let's watch that.
I would say uh, Tailcon is a quite compact. That's it. It's all disassembled and it's all right here. So I match drilled all the holes. I prepared everything according to Vance manual. And uh, the next step will be is uh, I want to cut some portion of the skin. And after that, I guess it's going to be dimpling, hole deburring. Well, it's going to be quite a long, long process because as you can see, I have lots of parts, lots of parts for one tail cone. And it's not all parts. There are even more parts which are related to the mechanical um, part for the, um, for the elevator's control and for the rudder control, which are not installed at this moment, right? So that's going to be at a later point. So for now that's it and uh, I'm going to be moving forward with dimpling, with holes deburring and after that it's going to be a priming. And I have no idea how I'm going to prime all that. There's lots of parts here so it looks like I'm going to be priming it in a, like in a couple of steps. And uh, one time, second time, I don't know, but definitely not at once because lots of parts and I just need to figure out some space for priming. Plus, I need to ensure I have enough primer for that. While kids going crazy upstairs, I'm going crazy downstairs here with the burying of the edges and holes and everything. It's lots of holes. Lots of holes. Uh, I don't know what to say else. Just like you have to work with the burying for the holes, for the edges, remove all sharp edges, and more and more and more I do, more I see I still have to do. But I know there is an end of that, and at some point I will finally get to dimpling right so as soon as I'm finished with all the all those parts with the preparation of those first parts I will start to work on my surfaces on my skins then it's gonna be dimpling lots of dimpling even more of dimpling and I guess after that I'll get back to dimpling of the ribs and after that it's gonna be counter thinking of the longerons so still lots of things to do anyway let's just watch So 13 longerons. Each longeron is about 120 holes. So if we just roughly go, it's already, uh, my guess is 1,300 and 260, so 1,560, whatever. It's about 1,560 holes, right? So we are deburring 1,560 holes from one side. Now each hole has two sides. So we're deburring 1,560 holes multiplied by 2. So it's over 3,000 holes just to deburr. Well, I hope you hear my pain. It's <laughs> lots of holes to, to deburr, lots of things to prepare, but we are on the right track.
finally at dimpling stage. I finished with all surfaces, all holes preparation. That was a long journey, to be honest, like really long journey because of the lots of holes, lots of things to do. But I did it at my best. So far it looks good. I prepared everything for dimpling and now me and my friend are starting to dimple the parts and we will start with that bulkhead with those parts. Let's continue. So what I want to say is that while I'm building my airplane, I also had to build a scarecrow. And the reason for that is it was a trade between me and my family. If I build a scarecrow, I can continue work on my airplane. Now, if uh, jokes aside, uh, we just have a little yard here nearby, which we built not long time ago, just to grow some, some simple stuff. And uh, my kids decided to make a scarecrow just, well, for obvious reasons, right? And uh, we're finishing everything up, we're gonna mount it soon, and it's just in the middle of my uh, Arvitan build. That's it for today. At this point, what finished is all parts are prepared except the skins which are not dimpled yet, as well as I still have a stiffeners which I still have to dimple. So, well, I would say in regards to dimpling about maybe 40% is done. Uh, most difficult dimpling is completed. My wife and my kids helped me. Those were two side skins because two side skins, the dimpling of those it's kind of it's kind of difficult just because of the size and uh, well it's just bulky uh, so in the next video i will continue to work on dimpling dimpling or finishing dimpling of my skins uh, finishing dimpling of my uh, well basically ribs like the uh, stiffeners and everything and hopefully hopefully everything will be ready for priming not sure when I'm going to be priming it in the next video or video after the next, but let's wait step by step. So for, the, for today, that's it, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit button like, and uh, just keep watching and my progress will be going uh, further soon. See you in the next video and have a good one. Bye.